All right. Um, okay. So if you haven't watched before, this is going to be really weird because you can see myself and my glasses. I apologize. Um, if you haven't been watching or, you know, if you haven't seen the previous videos, I've been doing a journey through my keratoconus and my corneal transplant. And I am two days out from surgery. I've upgraded to these snazzy things, which I don't need, but I am pretty sensitive to the light. So, as you can tell, it's not super freaky. It's just a little red. There's one little, like, um, whew, blood blistered area there. And I, don't see. I just, it, it hurts to have a bunch of light. So, I had to cut off my video that I recorded right after surgery because um, my phone ran out of memory. That's fine because I listened to it and it sounded shaky because of, um, you know, moving around. So this will be better for you in terms of audio quality. So um, I will pick up where I was li leaving off there, which is like post-op instructions. So, um, I'm supposed to take, I think I was saying, I'm not supposed to bend over, I'm not supposed to pick up anything over 20 pounds, I, um, I'm, you know, really supposed to take it easy, and I, I'll tell you about yesterday too, but, anyway, yesterday I was feeling pretty good, the pain level was not that bad, it kind of just hurt along the, um, here, it kind of hurt like down here on my eye and that was from the laser cut and they put a ton of pressure down on my eye. So um, that was from that. Today is more of a sharp pain um, from the actual um, cut and sutures and everything and I'm so sorry. I <sighs> The good thing about doing this for people is that they can see and hear about the things that they don't really tell you about. The things that you would just have to experience as a patient and they don't really tell you. So since I have this done, my eye drips a little bit and because of that my nose does too because you probably know that it's all kind of connected. So anyway, pain level was okay yesterday. It didn't hurt that bad but I still took the pain meds and everything um, and yeah, so that was okay. But I overdid it. And my, sorry, my dad and my mom are in the medical field and they said this is really common with surgery. It's like a honeymoon period the day after and you feel all right and you overdo it. So I would say if you are planning on getting a corneal transplant done to please try to uh, rein it in the day of surgery and not some... Um, not, you know, go out and do a bunch of things. I came home, I was good, I took a nap and everything, and then my mom and I went out to eat. I got these pajamas because they're, they're nice button downs. Um, I'm going to be wearing button downs for a little bit because they don't really want you pulling stuff over your head. Um, yeah, I got a lot of nice button downs, and then I went to the grocery store and you know, got some food for the evening, and, well, that makes no sense. We got, like, a late lunch, and then we had grilled cheeses for dinner, which was nice. But we went to the store, and, like, as I said, I'm really sensitive to the light, and, um, you know, there was just too much going on at the grocery store. There were too many people, too many sounds and colors, and, uh, you know, too bright of lights. It just, it was overwhelming, and after a while, I really just wanted to go home, like, um, I told my mom, like, I'm ready to go home, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the grocery store was not a good idea. I should not have done that. Um, today, the pain is a little bit sharper, as I think I said, around, like, the incision area. Um, but it's manageable with medicine. Uh, the medications are a little bit annoying, because it 
right now I am taking Keflex, or I mean it's another name, but that's what it is. Keflex, which I believe is an antibiotic, and then Tobradex, which is a like ointment that you put in your eye. And if don't don't go on my words, your doctor will tell you what you're getting. I believe that's what it's called. I don't want to make any mistake. Um, so that's an ointment that goes in your eye. That one's a little bit more complicated. So the Keflex, the antibiotic, is a, um, you know, pill. And then the Tobradex is an ointment. And uh, that has an antibiotic and a steroid in it, I believe. I'm sorry, my eyes are really bothering me at the moment. So I'm going to talk with them closed. So, um... Yeah, so I take those, but it's four times a day every six hours, and I didn't really get on a good time frame. My mom um, said that like the best is a six twelve schedule, which means you'll take it at six in the morning, twelve in the afternoon, um, six in the evening, and twelve at midnight. And I think that would be great, and I might try to switch that over. But I'm only taking the ointment for a week, and I believe. Keflex as well is only for a week so I'm only taking this for a week so I can switch my schedule around um you know in a week so that's a little bit hard I would totally recommend putting it in your phone put set all those alarms and I also downloaded a app which kind of makes it fun for me uh it's called Mango Health and if you take your medications each day you get points and you get like entered in for raffles for like gift cards and stuff so that just gives me an incentive on top of you know having a good healthy eye um to take my meds regularly and on time um so the things that they don't tell you I mean okay most of the things I'll tell you you could probably figure out it's really, really annoying not being able to bend down. Um, and I think they said I can start bending below my waist after a week. Um, and then it's still, I can't lift 20 pounds. I, as I said in my Blinding Beauty videos, is I do sculpture and I like to make makeup and all of that. And uh, I can't do that right now. It's, it's kind of hard not being able to do my regular things. And, um, yeah, so it's just, it's kind of boring at the point, this point. And the pain, um, isn't bad. It's not terrible. It's just, it's a lot of adjusting to a new lifestyle at the moment. And it's gonna, it's gonna take a while because, oh, yeah, it's gonna take a while because there are a lot of steps and, uh, I, I did end up getting, I told you in the first videos, I did end up getting the partial, Meller or I don't want to mess up the it is like a partial implant probably partial thickness or something like that I can't give you the exact details because I'm not sure but I did end up getting that which supposedly heals a little bit faster so they said um six eight months for that for it to heal completely and get the sutures out um oh yeah okay so I went to the eye doctor yesterday um, to get the um, dressing off and to check my vision and just go over the medications and everything. And finally, I could actually see on the chart when they checked my vision a little bit. Before, I could not see anything. Like, I'm not even joking. The largest letter on the eye chart, I could not see. So I could see the largest one and the second largest one, which doesn't seem like a huge accomplishment, but since I was only one day out from surgery, that's a great thing. Um, anyway, back to things that they don't tell you. Hygiene is really, really hard right after. Um, I'm not supposed to get water in my eye for two weeks, so I am just going to give you the creative solutions that I'm using. Uh, my shower here does... Um, have a detachable head so that would be easy I'm able to shower below my neck but I'm not allowed to get water in my eyes so my solution and my hair still drying it's got water on it it's not greasy it's just this is wet so my solution is I have 
dry shampoo, and a spray bottle. So I take my hair, and you have to be really careful because you don't want to, um, you don't want to spray your eye again. You want to close your eye, and if you get glasses like this, like keep them on while you do this. I section it out in pieces, like in in the back, and then I spray it down with a water bottle, and then brush it out. And now it's still drying, but like this is much better than it was. Like, I know it seems gross still, but I actually have another step. So anyway, my first step was to get it wet and kind of, like, kind of wash it. Then the second is that I'm going to take dry shampoo to it after it's completely dried, but it's still a little bit wet right now. So that's something that they probably don't tell you is hygiene is a little bit difficult for the first two weeks. You want to stay clean and, um, you know, you, you want to wash your hair and stuff, but... You're not able to wash above your neck, so I use a spray bottle very carefully to wet down my hair, and uh, then I will use dry shampoo once this is completely dry. And um, yeah, so that's that. I also I I did this while my dad was away, so like I didn't want to accidentally fall in the shower or something. So I also took the spray bottle, emptied the plain water out, got some soapy water, got like bath wash in there, shook it up with some hot water and I sprayed my body and did like a sponge bath. I know this is really gross but it's just um, stuff you should know. If you're thinking about getting a transplant then you should probably invest in getting some dry shampoo and a spray bottle beforehand because yeah it's good to have and I don't didn't really want to go two weeks without showering above my neck and having gross hair. Um, and I'm not allowed to wear eye, any eye makeup clearly for like two months, which makes sense. It just, <laughs> I'm someone who has always kind of loved fashion. So being in button down shirts and having these on and not being able to wear any face makeup or anything is kind of hard. But that's, you know, minuscule in comparison to having good vision. It's just, as I said, a change in lifestyle. So I'm not going to keep rambling. This is going to be video two, probably, because I didn't record. Um, I mean, it will be like four because you'll have the My Catacona Story Part 1 and Part 2. But this is going to be video two after, or, you know, yeah, after my transplant. So you'll have the day of and then two days out because I just... I was busy yesterday, and then I overdid it and didn't feel up to doing this. Besides, I wasn't allowed to read yesterday, and my parents were on me like hawk. So I couldn't uh, have my phone out or anything without them yelling at me. So anyway, it was good to, you know, tell you about this, and I will keep updating you through the weeks. And uh, as I said, I will be getting cross-linking, so I will do the same thing for that. Yeah. Bye.